What is a monotype? What is a monotype? What is a monotype? What is a monotype? Monotyping is a type of printmaking made by drawing or painting on a smooth, non-absorbent surface. The surface, a matrix, was historically a copper etching plate, but in contemporary work it can vary from zinc or glass to acrylic glass. The image is then transferred onto a sheet of paper by pressing the two together, usually using a printing press. Monotypes can also be created by inking an entire surface and then using brushes or rags removing ink to create a subtractive image, creating lights from a field of opaque color. The inks may be oil-based or water-based. With oil-based inks, the paper may be dry, in which case the image has more contrast, or the paper may be damp, in which case the image has a 10% greater range of tones. Unlike monoprinting, monotyping produces a unique print, or monotype, because most of the ink is removed during the initial pressing. Although subsequent reprintings are sometimes possible, they differ greatly from the first print and are generally considered inferior. A second print from the original plate is called a ghost print or cognate. Stencils, watercolor, solvents, brushes, and other tools are often used to embellish a monotype print. Monotypes are often spontaneously executed and with no previous sketch. After cutting patterns of paper to be used as blockouts and spraying dots of ink with a toothbrush to give an all-over texture to background areas, Secunda gently lifts the papers, careful not to smear the wet inks he has just applied. To make the printing process on the press more efficient, Master Printer Rezvani alerts Secunda to cautiously dab excess ink blots with cotton swabs to achieve textural clarity. Working separately but in tandem, the artist and his printer create a dual force of palpable creative energy synchronized to the goal of successful graphic works of art. Rezvani dampens and checks the moisture of the next sheet of acid-free paper, readying the press for the next pull. Secunda uses newsprint paper to touch the metal plate lightly in order to get just the right amount of ink thickness and opacity in saturated areas, using a palette knife and a roller to modulate shapes and contour the main form.
pulling the new image from the plate is tricky and requires a sixth sense of judgment. The proper pressure is one of the technical keys to the creation of a beautiful graphic work. The head of Abram monotype is shown at the actual moment of its coming into being. Secunder heartily approves the perfect pull, carefully held and shown by Rezvani. Using a glass palette to mix and roll up new colors, the artist's intuition comes into play. Translating the viscosity, tone, and relationship of the chosen color via the plate to the final image requires insight, experience, and perception. Sometimes working a new image over the old one stimulates the imagination, either by rendering the opposite of what is underneath or by modifying what was left on the plate from the previous efforts. Inspiration may thus be aroused by destroying form. Here Secunda, using a Chinese brush, is seen making a continuous, lyrical, serpentine stroke without lifting his hand. Holding a plexiglass plate up to the light can help ascertain which parts of the painting on the print are too dry, too opaque, or too subtle. Both the blotting and endless cleaning of the plates are endless processes for which there is no shortcut. In the graphic arts, cleanliness amidst chaos is truly a discipline requiring awareness and attention at all times. While Resvani is printing a monotype, Secunder refines the serpent plate. <laughs> 